Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Thursday, April 16th, 2019. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Many moons ago, the great Mark Twain once famously said, the rumors of my demise have been greatly exaggerated. Well, now that we can officially put to rest the rumor that Eduardo Correa's comeback was never going to happen, because this is the weekend we finally see Super Sliced make his long-awaited return to an IFBB stage. You heard that right. Eduardo Correa will in fact be competing at the New York Pro this weekend. And I'm going to go as far as to say that I'm picking him as a top three finisher. Weird things can happen on that stage every year, and a story like this feels like it would be on par for the course. And with the show being less than 72 hours away, it won't be long before we get a chance to see some things finally come full circle. I destroyed the 2018 Dura. That's a direct quote from our old buddy Mahmoud El Dura on what he's bringing to the New York Pro this year. Even with all the Eduardo Correa stuff grabbing the headlines right now, you cannot overlook some of the other guys in this 212 lineup, and Dura is right up there near the top of the list. With where this show falls on the calendar this year, it's almost right in that 16-week mark out from the Olympia which makes it a perfect launching point for a guy like Dara to build some momentum. There's no doubt that a win here would be huge for his career, but the bigger picture move might be to use this show as a barometer to figure out what works and what doesn't so he can hit the home stretch hard and come into the Olympia at his all-time best. As far as bodybuilding is concerned, no one really cares how you look until you step on stage. But I'm not afraid to admit that what Heather Dees is working with right now definitely has my attention. This week, the figure icon was spotted getting in an early morning sweat session where she looked as good as we've seen her all season long. To be honest, I'm still blown away by the transformation that she's made over the last year or so, because Heather seems like she's getting better and better now every time we see her. So I'd be on the lookout for her to make her present felt at some point before the end of the summer. She's due for one more big performance. As the old saying goes, absence makes the heart grow fonder. And after two solid years away from the pro stage, maybe Mark Anthony's starting to get that, well, itch again. On Tuesday, the first Men's Physique Olympia champ posted an update that generated some buzz from some of the diehard fans who've been watching him since day one. To his credit, the champ looks amazing right now which just lets me know that he's still getting up every day and training his butt off just because he loves it. But to be honest, it's hard to imagine him wanting to go through the grind of a contest season again after being on the other side of the fence for so long. But I'll tell you what, if he did end up becoming a force to be reckoned with once again, it would definitely add a cool element to a division that's already pretty exciting. At some point in our lives, Every person comes to a crossroads where the next decision they make has a direct impact on what the next 10 years of their life will be. And it looks like bikini star Karina Skoronska is right in the middle of one of those moments. A few days ago, Skoronska openly talked on social media about whether or not the sacrifices you have to make as an athlete in the bodybuilding industry are worth it in the long run. And even though she's not the first person to do this, I do think it raises a larger point for some of you guys out there to consider when you're thinking about your quality of life. It's true that nothing comes without sacrifice, but then again, what good does it do a man to gain the world and lose his soul? These are personal decisions that no one can answer for you, but it's always a good idea to take stock of what your own big picture looks like. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.